Twitch or if they can play it on their uh, on, in their videos or whatever and like I think it's like if you want to play the music on Twitch or something then you have to um provide some proof that you have permission so just take this as permission if you have a twitch stream or you want to use my music in one of your videos or something this is your permission go ahead and use the music you can send that clip to twitch and hopefully they allow you the type of lyricism we write strike a pencil make nice the light that's in them like my you like the niggas tonight you fight all right so I'm gonna treat this like a real YouTube video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy Mugs, man. We here live, man. We got the whole Hog Life fam up in the chat right here, man. So say hi, YouTube chat. Say hi, you hi to the YouTube. Um, for anybody here, you know what I'm saying? I'm your boy Mugs. Hey, I appreciate you guys doing what you do. Um, but today we got Tom McDonald, uh, the music industry reaction. Uh Looking forward to this one. I I do know that he's a bit of a conspiracy theorist. So I'm going to check this out, man. I'm going to break this down for you or just elaborate on top of what he already does. So I hope you guys will sit back, relax. You know what I'm saying? Let's go along for the ride. Well, let's go along for the ride and y'all know what to do, man. So it probably won't be too much bar breakdown, but it's going to be definitely a lot of elaboration. So... All right, man, get your popcorn. Uh, let's get it. Hi, Dave, hi, Dave, hi, Dave. <laughs> now, one thing, I know I just stopped, but one thing I want to tell you about the car, he got fire behind the car. He got a duffel bag mask over his face. So, like, what that tells me, he got, he spray painted independent on the side of that car. I can already tell this is gonna be like super in depth about what he believes about the music industry. <laughs> I know I ain't got that many people in here for a chat to freeze. Better refresh your phones or refresh the page. Look at all the rappers that the game's killed. Record labels making billions. Why can't artists even pay bills? You get taken advantage of if you take deals. They're the devil, ain't no angels in the outfield. Mm, they're the devil, ain't no angels in the outfield. That kind of, I know he got that from, y'all remember that 1990s movie from uh, Angels in the Outfield? I can get the reference. Um, he talks about how artists are being broke. Um, if you ever, if you guys ever watched uh, uh, about 20 years ago, MTV used to do this thing called True Life. Um, not True Life, was it uh, Behind the Music? And they used to go behind the music with artists and stuff. And some of the artists would actually say that they broke. And then, like, remember what TLC said about uh, about 25 years ago that they had actually won an award and they said that they were broke. They said that they were broke. Like, that was crazy. That was crazy. To see that um, a successful group like TLC, who went platinum on a couple of albums, um... I, I just I just can't believe that they said that they were broke. So millions of records. But let's go back. Stephen paid bills. You get taken advantage of if you take deals. They're the devil, ain't no angels in the outfield. Oh, and one other thing, say so you get taken advantage of when you take deals. You gotta read the fine print, boy. You gotta make sure you have somebody on your shoulder that you trust, cause sometimes they'll pull you into a trap. Get you chains and a bracelet, maybe a fake grill. You get you paid in your famous baby, it ain't real. I like the rhyme pattern on that right there. He said, take deals. He made a rhyme pattern. He made like a four-five bar 
a four to six bar pattern with just uh, saying take deals, just rhyming off of take deals. I like that. Billions, why can't artists even pay bills? You get taken advantage of if you take deals. They're the devil, ain't no angels in the outfield. You get your chains in a bracelet, maybe a fake grill. You get, get your chains in a bracelet, ain't no fake grill. You paid and you're famous, baby, it ain't real. You get paid and you're famous and then it ain't real. Facts. A couple million think you made it, but the record label take it when you overdose on alcohol and pain pills. Get he says, he says something. Let me rewind Maybe that. It ain't real. A couple million think you made it, but the record label take it when you overdose on alcohol and pain pills. Give me a pen and a pad. A couple Hold million up. think you made it, but the record label take it when you overdose on alcohol and pain pills. He say, thank you made it, but the old, but the record deal takes it when you overdose on uh, alcohol and pain pills. But the funny thing is that the record label has you so busy, they'll drive you to doing sub doing substances just to stay up just to get through to the get through the day you know what i'm saying like it's amazing what they drive you to do but then make it your fault when you succumb to whatever you got going on around you i i just i just think it's amazing i just think it's amazing me a pen in the past. I'm gonna get in the lab. I'm gonna kill him with tracks. I'm gonna deliver the facts. Nobody holding me back. They Ooh, boy, I I like the way that um that bulletproof vest look. It ain't real. A couple million think you made it, but the record label take it when you overdose on alcohol and pain pills. Give me a pen in the past. I'm gonna get in the lab. I'm gonna you like like and I said this um in the NF reaction. I said like he said, notice how some words the pattern uh that he enunciated the words are kind of sound the same he said give me your pen in the pad i be i'm gonna be in the lab like those uh same consonants are sounding the same like listen to it but the record label take it when you overdose on alcohol and pain pills give me a pen in the pad i'm gonna get in the lab give me your pen in the pad i'm gonna get in the lab like that give me your pen in the pad i'm gonna get it in the lab like that like listen to that. Like so, when you listen to syllables from other artists, you gotta actually like listen. Like that's how you catch rhyme schemes. Like just listen to how they enunciate the ending of the bars. I'm gonna kill him with tracks. I'ma deliver the facts. Nobody holding me back. Labels are tricking the fans. Rappers are industry plans. Everything planned. I ain't brain dead. Never signed. Mm, he said rappers are industry says. Oh, look. Nobody holding me back. Tables are tricking the fans. Rappers are industry plans. Everything planned. I ain't brain dead. Never signed a deal. It don't make sense. Never let a label manipulate what I've made yet. Invading the industry independently. I break in. Kill the gatekeepers with a blaze. He's a gate bent. Mainstream rappers see the fame. Want to break bread. So lame for sale. Never sell out. Trying to pay rent. Mmm. Dude, that was so much into that. Fans, rappers are industry plans, everything planned. I ain't brain dead, never signed a deal that don't make sense. Never let a they never sign a deal that don't make sense. I heard about a Christian rapper um a long time ago. He was about to sign a deal and he could he said he could feel the evil energy in the room. But that Gucci vest is nice. Well, it's not, it's not, um, it's not it, like Lilith. I wouldn't say that's, that's, that's actually basic lyricism. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a rapper too. And I pick up on other rhyme patterns and stuff like that. And I may use that in a song. It's not necessarily plagiarism. Like I'm copying somebody. It's just, you know, oh, that's a creative flow. Let me try that. You know what I'm saying? So if it was like that, then it's cool. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, Supreme Kai. In the fans, rappers are industry plans, everything planned. I ain't brain dead, never signed a deal that don't make sense. Never let a label manipulate what I've made yet. Hmm, he said never let a make a uh, label manipulate what I made then. Plan. I ain't brain dead, never signed a deal that don't make sense. Never let a label manipulate what I've made yet. Invading the industry independently, I break in. Kill he said invading the industry independently, I break in. Yeah. The gatekeepers with a blaze, the gate. Hmm, say, uh, kill the gatekeepers. So there's actual, yeah, that's true. Definitely, it's definitely gatekeepers. No, not flame. Flame is actually one of my favorites, actually. Flame was actually one of my favorite Christian artists. Flame and the truth. I had stopped listening to them though. But um 
Let me see. Do let me ask you guys, like, do you guys believe that it's gatekeepers? Do y'all believe it's gatekeepers in music? I believe there is. I definitely believe it's gatekeepers. Let's see. Manipulate what I've made yet Invading the industry independently I break in Kill the gatekeepers with a blaze Leave the gate bent Mainstream rappers see the fame Wanna break bread So let's uh, say mainstream rappers Wanna see the fame And now they break it Break bread I mean the gatekeepers Are people you don't see Like A&R's Management Lawyers Like people that have control Of your exposure Or sometimes Well I heard about something in Dallas um uh maybe a, like a year ago that said that um and i'm not sure how true this is allegedly erica badu holds back a lot of the talent here in dallas like even some of the artists themselves about where they from they could actually be real gatekeepers too so that's what i that's what i mean by gatekeeper Lane for sale, never sell out trying to pay rent. Illuminati puppets to industry hail Satan. The devil making deals, I'm gonna shake hands. He said Illuminati puppets. Illuminati puppets. A sell out trying to pay rent. Illuminati puppets to industry hail Satan. The devil. He said Illuminati puppets. Something hail, hail Satan. I felt uncomfortable to say. <laughs> I like that uh, evil laugh in the background. Like I heard it through the headphones. He's, I heard it through the headphones. Like you got that right at the end of that bar. It was like, ha, 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 ha. Like, yeah, that was cool how to paint, how to illustrate that narrative on that last line. These other rappers are hated, going viral with no label, with no manager or agent. Call my mama, I got comments and the money going crazy, and she crying, trying to tell me that she's happy for a baby. Like, ooh, hey, finally got that deal, got a pen in my hand. Ooh, hey. Ooh, I can hear, I heard that, Evan. Hey, finally. Hey, hey, listen to the beginning of this bridge and sound like, listen to how Tom's like uh, vocal is like uh, by itself. And then on the second, ooh, hey. You 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 hear a layered vocal on the bottom, like on top of it, stacked on it, and then it's like that kind of gives it more volume. You know what I'm saying? Only got that deal, got a pen in my hand. Ooh, hey, like how you trying to buy who the hell I am? You can keep your cash, I'm not that broke. I won't sign no contracts, I do me. Y'all are canceled, stealing people's dreams. How can you sleep? It's all right. Mmm, I like I like this hook. I like this hook. Keep your cash, I'm not that broke. I won't sign no contracts, I do me. Y'all are canceled, stealing people's dreams. How can you sleep? It's all rap hoes, throwing cash in Lambos. I'm independent till I'm dead. I quit the music industry. Artists really only. Mm. I like that purple glare in the box, but I, what do y'all think of that hook? What do you give that hook? Uh, what is it, like a nine? Uh, Best out of 10, what do you give that hook? <laughs> Some of y'all just love this song. I like that. <laughs> Team Tom. But i tell y'all something about the hooks, though. The mixing is great. Let's go, let's go back to the hook. I got a pen in my hand. Ooh, hey. Like, how you trying to buy who the hell I am? You can keep your... Now listen, when the beat drop, I want you, when the beat drops, I want you guys to feel the music rise. I want you guys to feel the music rise. Like, listen to that music, um, the, the um, volume of the music come up, and you see it's more like an anthem. Sometimes tonality can tell you what type of song is going to be, uh, but check this out. Look at it. Your cash, I'm not that broke. I won't sign no contracts. I do me. Y'all are canceled. Stealing people's dreams. How can you sleep? I, he said, he said, 
I do me. And then he said, how can you sleep? Like, that's that. I like that. I like that. It's a rap moves, throwing cash in Lambos. I'm independent till I'm dead. I quit the music industry. Artists really only want to chase dreams. We're broke all our lives, begging labels. Please take me. Trick us. That's that's one of the best bars of this song so far. That artists want to pursue dreams, going to labor saying, take me. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was uh, when I was going through uh when I was rapping with my group back in 2004, uh, we actually uh got in contact with an AR. Uh it was a local AR. And uh this is the reason why my group um that we actually had began to have turmoil because the a and r came into our group which is just a bunch of friends and family members uh, came into our group start saying he trash get him out the group he can't rap he can't do this he can't do that and it started this whole mutiny this whole mutiny inside the group about who can do what song who can rap and me personally in that time i was going through kind of an identity crisis um, cause I was transitioning. I had just got saved and, um, became a Christian at the time. So I was having identity crisis, whether I wanted to do the secular side of this music and whether I wanted to do the Christian side. So I kind of wanted to put them together, but I didn't know how to rap on songs. I didn't want to cuss. I didn't want to say vulgar things, but anyway, but this A&R started saying who was trash and who was not trash and stuff. And uh, it, it caused a rift in the group as well as our relationships that, you know what I'm saying? Like all of a sudden a group of family and friends were broken up into like three people. And I, I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? And even almost ended one of my lifelong friendships. And I was like, dude, if this to me, I, I said this when I was 21 years old. I said, listen, if this is what getting into the industry means, it means I'm losing the relationships with the people I love, I don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah, I, was, I told them they could have it, but I'm not sacrificing my friendships for, for some money. You know what I'm saying? That was me. That was me. That wait until you hear pre-2017 time, way off is different, but you hear the seeds of his independency. In the song, if you can hear that, you will move up to number two of all reactors. <laughs> okay. Listen to thinking, getting deals is a great thing. Spend our whole careers trying to break free. The fans said it. He said, spend our whole careers trying to. Hold up, let me go back. Take me, trick us into thinking, getting deals is a great thing. Spend our whole careers trying to break free. The fans said they love us, trying to give them music they need. Label doesn't like it, that ain't mainstream. Listen to what he said. We try like our the artists are trying to give the fans music that they need. So they take that music to the uh, executives and saying, nah, that ain't mainstream. So remember in one of the songs, I think I hate hip hop. I don't know what one of the reactions that I did. I was talking about the way hip hop changed and saying that the labels are the ones that's dictating what's mainstream or what I said that you only have these three type of songs in the black, and I'm only say this because I grew up in the black community, but you only heard these type of songs. These type of songs were in a box. You heard these anthem songs, these club anthem, these strongly sexually suggested songs. It, it, it was, that's all you heard. But when you get the albums, you'll see a little bit more in depth, but the, the labels never really let the artists put out the music they wanted to and you can see that a lot when you would watch like those old behind the music um behind the music episodes and stuff and saying that man i really like that song and the labels say they don't like it like they're in charge of what comes out so they don't want anything that perpetuates the wrong message or the message that they not trying to um they controlling the narrative basically so you mean to tell me I'm sitting up here making hundreds of songs for you and now you want to tell me that this can't come out? Oh, man, no. 
You looking in the mirror like what happened, man, this ain't me. I guess that I just don't see what they see. Give me a mic in the booth. I'm gonna die for the truth. I'm gonna fight for the youth. I don't got nothing to lose. Labels are hiding the proof. Look, I'm gonna give you a clue. Illuminati symbols are the logos major labels use. Illuminati logos are the symbols major, ma major labels use. I learned this back about 10 years ago about the logos and stuff. Like, there's always hidden, hidden meanings in logos and stuff. Like the FedEx symbol, that's pretty obvious. Like um, the UPS, uh, even the Amazon one, it's, it's weird. But those are supposed to be the signatures that let other people know where, what you're a part of. I don't see what they see. Give me a mic in the booth. I'm gonna die for the truth. I'm gonna fight for the youth. I don't got nothing to lose. Labels are hiding the proof. Look, I'm gonna give you a clue. Illuminati symbols are the logos major labels use. They're calling me an industry plant. I giggle and laugh. I'm the. He said, man, I never understand that. How can people call Tom an industry plant? I'm gonna die for the truth. I'm gonna fight for the youth. I don't got nothing to lose. Labels are hiding the proof. Look, I'm gonna give you a clue. Illuminati symbols are the logos major labels use. They're calling me an industry plant. I giggle and laugh. I'm the total opposite of what they want. I'm spitting the facts. I'm a he say, I'm, say I'm an industry plant. I'm the total opposite they want. Why something? What he said. They're calling me an industry plant. I giggle and laugh. I'm the total opposite of what they want. I'm spitting the facts. He said, I'm the total opposite of what they want. I'm spitting the facts. And that's all we really wanted from music, man. We want, uh, we wanted, what we wanted from my favorite artists was for them to just tell them their truth and help us get through our stuff, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm going to say, let's say, let's say, you know, sex does sell, like, but, but they perpetuated like in society in the front of trying to build people up and make people better and build a better system, uh, be build a better society. You don't want you don't want people to gain knowledge through music. You just want people to sway hypnotically uh, uh, to the music. Like I know how that feel. I know how that feel. You know what I'm saying? I know how that feel, man. To me, the truth is the truth, man. I don't care where the skin color is. Bro, uh, Randy. I make songs about the honest things you whisper to fam. I've exposed the government. They want to kill me for that. I put the pedophile sex cults on Infinite Blast. I leaked it. He said he put the pedophiles and cults on Infinite Blast. On what song did he do that on? I need to watch that song. Um, I need to react to that song. The industry secrets that I did it with rap. He said he exposed industry street secrets and he did it with rap. I mean, if it was true that they were trying to kill him for what he's saying, that's crazy. You try to say that my intentions aren't acting, that my vision is a pillar of their intricate plan. I want to manage my decisions independent gold packs. No, you won't see my initials on official contracts. Independent till I'm dead. I like the way he connected that bar right there. Let's I want to manage my decisions independent gold packs. No, you won't see my... Let me go back. My vision is a pillar of their intricate plan. I want to manage my decisions and defending gold packs. So you won't see my initials on official contracts. I like I like how he doubled up the voice out on the end of those bars, and and the end like you said independent contracts and something like that. Hold up. Intricate plan. I want to manage my decisions and defending gold packs. So you won't see my initials on official contracts. Say so you won't see my initials on official contracts. I like the way Evan. Doubled up the uh, vocals on that side right there. I like the way that sound in the headphones too. Depending till I'm dead or I'm a bitter old man. Middle fingers, I'm a missile that they can't hold back. He say middle fingers, I'm a missile till they can't hold back. That's a bar. Ooh, hey, finally got that deal. Got a pen in my hand. Ooh, hey, like how you trying to buy who the hell I am? You can keep your cash. I'm not that broke. I won't sign no. Wait a minute, did y'all see that transition right there? Who the hell I am? You can keep your cash. I like the way he did that. Wearing, wearing, wearing that, and then he went from uh, the jacket to the jacket. I like the way that transition. Ooh, hey, like how you trying to buy? Who the hell I am? You can keep your cash. I'm not that broke. I won't sign no contracts. I do me. Y'all are canceled. Stealing people's dreams. How can you sleep? It's all rap hoes. Throwing cash in Lambos. I'm independent till I'm dead. I quit the music industry. Miss me with all of that industry talk. Work my whole life for the things that I have. Why would I give you the keys to the car? If you just gonna drive while I pay for the gas. I mm, he said, why why give you the keys to the car if you're gonna drive while I pay for the gas? Woo-wee. 
And you mean to tell me he ain't a good rapper? Miss me with all of that industry talk. Work my whole life for the things that I have. Why would I give you the keys to the car? If you just gonna drive while I pay for the gas, I ain't gonna come to you. Hold up. I, I love them first four bars, bro. Hold up. We got. Miss me with all of that industry talk. Work my whole life for the things that I have. Why would I give you the keys to the car? car. If you just gonna drive while I pay for the, for the gas, gas, I ain't gonna come to your meetings no more. Listen to that. Ooh, I like the way that beat build up right there. But all of that industry talk. Work my whole life for the things that I have. Why would I give you the keys to the car? If you just gonna drive while I pay for the gas, I ain't gonna come to your meetings no more. Told you. Listen to that beat. Listen to that how that bass rose up right there. Like when he started going to uh rapping at a better at a faster pace. Like listen to how that just listen. The car. If you just gonna drive while I pay for the gas, I ain't gonna come to your meetings no more. Told you already, ain't giving you half. Y'all can't wait to get your feet in the door. Then lock he said, I told you already, I ain't giving you half. No more. Told you already, ain't giving you half. Y'all can't wait to get your feet in the door. Then lock me outside while you steal from my fans. Mmm. Wait for me to get the feet in the door. To get my feet in the door. So you can lock me out. And steal from my fans. That is crazy. And I ain't gonna lie, them shoes was dope. I wear size 15. So he had the Gucci. He had the he has the Gucci um bulletproof vest with the Gucci shoes, with the Gucci <laughs> with the with the Gucci jacket. Dude, I know that slap in the car. You have y'all can't wait to get your feet in the door, then lock me outside while you steal from my fans. Keep your cash, I'm not that hey, bro. broke. I won't sign no contracts. I don't need all the cash. So go. stealing people's dreams. How can you sleep? It's a rap rose, throwing cash in land. Damn, bro. I'm in the bed until I'm dead. I quit the music. Keep your cash, I'm not that broke. I won't sign no contracts. I do need all the cash. So go. How can you sleep? It's all Rambo's, throwing cash in Lambo's. I'm independent till I'm dead. I quit the music Sick industry. Why is that little boy running? Why are you running? I'm gonna need you to uh, muscle up. Um, <laughs> you you run like a gazelle, bro. Yeah, you run like a little deer. <laughs> <laughs> you go moon the camera. I like that song, man. But overall, man, the whole message of that song, man, is telling independent artists not to trust the music industry, not to uh, depend on your own hard work. You know what I'm saying? And Tom is the biggest example of an independent artist. Him, Dax, Upchurch, uh, Calhoun, uh, Shoot, man, even Harry Mack, Knox Hill, all those guys, great examples of independent artists that's doing it on their own and they getting the, uh, and they and they got good, strong fan bases, man. And I know for one thing, you can't grow uh, without a strong fan base. <laughs> but yeah, man, so I'm gonna say this, man, post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you like my reaction, Hit the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch y'all at another one. Hog life.